Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Chris, the American Mag, Newcastle United. Apparently, according to Sky Sports, have had their second bid rejected. And I have a few things to say about that. Of course, we got the live matches, we got the, the match review, we got all that stuff to go through. And I want to give my specific take on this situation. But first, let's listen to what Sky Sports had to say and report about the second bid rejected by uh, Crystal Palace to Newcastle United. So we've got news from them. They have seen a second bid for Mark Gahey rejected by Crystal Palace. It was believed to be in the region of £50 million. That is understood to have happened within the last 24 hours. Now, negotiations between um, the clubs with Newcastle are going to consider another option in that now. Now, a key factor in talks is Gahey's remaining contract length. He's 18 months away from discussing pre-contract talks with teams abroad, two years away from leaving on a free. Um, of course, Newcastle crippled by injuries last season. Eddie Howe spoken about being a little bit light on numbers as well. Um, so they'll be looking to try and get Gahey in, but a number of clubs interested in him. They uh, value him at 65 million pounds newcastle got all right so that's what's happening there uh according to them it is simple as according to sky sports the newcastle bids 50 million this is the second bid and i'm going to have an issue with this now uh and that's why i wanted to give my specific take on this situation why in the actual hell is our second bid 50 million pounds that's clearly too short Sky Sports has information, by the way. They're not, they're the Premier League partners. They know stuff. They are ITK, to say the least, on a, on a good sense of the word. Uh, can't remember the last time they were wrong. I'm sure there has been, and somebody's going to bring that up. Regardless, you know that Sky Sports has information. And 50 million pounds, that's our second bid. And everybody else is making moves. West Ham United getting the strikers, getting, you know, getting in deals. West Ham. Chelsea making moves as well, getting Neto that we were linked with at one point in time. And some people said that the injuries was, uh, you know, they wouldn't take them because of the injuries or whatever, but they are still making moves. And everybody wants to mock Chelsea saying that their bus is going to, they're going to have to travel to games in three, in three buses, three coaches, you know, because they're going to, their squad is, is so full. Do you want to have a full squad or do you want to be, have a depleted squad? What, which one do you have? We got to look at ourselves, Newcastle United fans, and actually, Say, what is happening? You know, what is happening with our transfer window? Why is it borderline poor? And again, I said that I'm not going to rant about this window yet because it's not over. And the mighty wind has told me, just wait, wait, and wait. We will sign a marquee signing. We will have marquee players coming on to Newcastle upon time. Well, I'm still waiting, and the clock is ticking for Newcastle United. $50 million is our second bid for Mark Gehi who is one of the best prospect strikers, not only because of prospect, but because of what, what he's doing now, playing for England, being a leader for England. What else? You wanna you value him at 50? I understand that you don't go with your highest bid. However, your second bid is 50. What was the first? 30. To be honest, I'm not, I'm not surprised that, that Crystal Palace hadn't told us to F off yet. Because it's, it's it's almost insulting to a to a certain extent. Sky Sports reporting, as you said, as you heard right there, that other clubs are valuing him at sixty five million pounds. I think sixty should have been our first bid. But then again, somebody's going to say I'm not a negotiator. I'm not a uh, I'm not a businessman, which that wouldn't be so so uh, you know that wouldn't be true. To be honest, I do uh, have so, a few business endeavors myself. But obviously, not to this extent of 50 million, 10 million, or 50, 60 million. It's a lot of money. I understand that. But this is football, man. There is money in football. We have not spent one single bit. We've spent 15 million or at least 10, and then we're going to go and spend uh, uh, 15 on on, uh, on Osula. But I'm still flabbergasted. I'm still flabbergasted because I just, I, I, I mean, we just can't get a deal done, man. And it seems that way. You know, and then I hope I'm proven wrong and I hope we sign this kid and I hope we get it done. However, at the end of the day, we are seeing what we're seeing and all the clubs are moving. All the clubs are making moves. Manchester United has already made moves. And I'm talking about teams that are uh, stayed in the same, the finish in the same spot as we did. We got rid of PSR issues. We don't have that. Uh, selling, unfortunately, selling players. And uh, but now we got to make moves. We are we are being held by a center back. 
which we need, by the way. And if it's Mark Gay, it doesn't matter. You bring him on and we're going to play him. But we have not, we have not reinforced the right wing position. Up front, we are very skinny. We are very, very thin. Are we going to fix that anytime soon? Is there going to be enough time? This is, um, listen, we, we got 20 days. We got 20 days. We got to make moves, man. It's a bit tough. So it, disheartening to see that uh, we are simply not making moves. Osula, as much as everybody wants to be excited, is a future is a, a future project. And I'm sure he's going to get time, and he looks like a decent uh, player. And I think we just have to wait, but he is not a marquee signing. Newcastle United fans want more. Is there going to happen? Is there going to be time? What I kind of sends me a bit over the edge is that our second bid is 50 million pounds. Are we like the mighty wind that says, wait, man, wait, be patient. They know what they're doing. Or is it going to be a cuck up that we're going to regret when somebody else, when the Liverpool signs Mark Gay? Because trust me, if Liverpool come with 65 million, offering him 250 a week, he's going to go there no matter what. We should strike since we cannot persuade players right now for their salary. We should strike quickly and get the deal done. Because if another club comes and they offer more money because they can and we cannot, they are going to choose that club no matter what. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'd be interested to know and hear your opinion. Of course, I'm Chris, the American Mag. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Welcome again to the new viewers to NUFC Talk TV. And if you are a member, thank you for your support. And you can become a member, get giveaways, and, um, and also exclusive content on a weekly basis. And of course, again, hit the like button. Let's get to 100, 1,000. Thank you so much for your support. And definitely let me know what you think in the comment section down below about this particular topic. 50 million for Marky. Second bit.